Hi friend, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to share with you my advice for data scientists, graduates, but also interns. I've recently been through the phase of just starting out, figure things out and just really starting from scratch the whole experience of becoming a data scientist. And along the way, I've picked up a few things that I don't want you to fall into as well. Because data scientist is quite a prestigious job, it's very technical, it's very demanding, and at the beginning, we might end up doing the wrong things without even noticing. And my aim today is to demystify those things and give you some advice that I applied for myself and hopefully can help you as well. Number one is don't focus on tools. The worst thing you can do is get too attached to your tools. By tools, I mean the programming language you use, for example, Python or R or SQL, the frameworks that you use for machine learning, the models that you use, whatever tools that you're familiar with, remember those are just tools. And the main goal is to get in results. Because usually when you work with stakeholders, with clients, they usually don't care what type of language you write with or what kind of framework you use. They just care about the final result. And if you start your journey having a business thinking from the start, instead of focusing too much on the tools and too much on the code, you'll have a huge edge over everyone else that is just starting out. Number two is be flexible. Don't be too rigid. It follows the same advice as before. Don't be too rigid on tools. Don't be too rigid on a way of thinking. And be very flexible. Be open to learn. Be open to, to experiment, be open to try new things, be flexible. In data science, flexibility is key because the tools, the technologies, all these things are evolving. What you're doing today will change in five years. The basics will stay the same, but I mean the tools will evolve. The way you do things will evolve. People used to use Excel a lot before. Now you have 50 different ways to analyze tables and do all sorts of fun stuff. So tools evolve but your thinking needs to evolve as well. You need to be very flexible. Number three, and this one is huge, 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 is to listen. You have to listen, listen, and listen. You're just starting out. You don't know anything. Even if you think you know, your projects that you've done in your portfolio, in your university, in your bootcamp, following YouTube tutorials are good, but it doesn't mean you know everything. So please, when you're an intern or a graduate, listen listen to your superior, listen to your colleagues, listen to people around you, listen to the clients. By listening, you understand better what people want. And by understanding better what people want, you can then create a solution that is optimized and everyone will be happy with your work and even yourself. If you're enjoying this video so far, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. That's the best way to support me in my journey here on YouTube. Thank you for doing it. Number four is keep things simple. It's quite easy for us data scientists to overcomplicate stuff. Add a bunch of code, build reports with 20, 30 pages, full of code, full of whatever things we have in there. Especially these days that we have AI and the help of ChatGPT, and we get all these outputs that are huge, and we just start putting them on reports, start reaching out loud all of these things to people. Don't do that, keep things simple, that's something I learned the hard way on my project as a freelancer because I was building reports, I was getting so much insights from the data and I was thinking that I needed to capture all those information in one report which was like 20 pages, 25 pages and no one wants to read that, really no one wants to except yourself and even yourself at the end you don't want to read everything because you know it's a lot of information. So save yourself time, save people time and keep things simple just give them the output that they're looking for. Yes, you can back up the, your information with a bunch of data explaining what you did, but keep it brief. Usually a report shouldn't be longer than two to four pages. It shouldn't be. Whatever you're capturing into it, it should fit into two, three pages, whatever that is. So always remember, people don't need your long reports. They don't need a bunch of code that they don't even understand. They just need the output presented in a nice way. Number five, and I love this one, is embrace the challenge. In whatever you do in life, embrace the challenge. There are challenges in your personal life, in your professional life, in spirituality, in whatever things that you do in life, there are challenges. And we know that. 
in data science is the same. You can't escape going through challenges, tough projects, tough clients, really complex stuff, doing things that you don't even know at the beginning and just figuring them out over time. You have to do it. To give you an example for myself, I didn't use Power BI as a tool before starting my new job. And one of the requirements was for me to build the Power BI dashboard. I took a course of approximately 15 hours. I've done it in two days with the hands-on and some basic projects and basic things in it. In two days, I already managed to get all the basics of Power BI like I've done it for within a year. And then obviously within the weeks, I needed to learn stuff and I encountered many bugs that I needed to fix and all these things. But what I'm telling you is the same advice as the first point. Don't get too absorbed by the tools because you can learn them. If you have your ideas straight and you know what you're looking for, the tool, any tool you can learn it. Like really, even if people tell you that there is something complex, it's only complex if you make it so. Nothing is complex, you can learn anything. Give yourself time, be a lover of learning, be open to learn new things and forget about learning about tools. You are here to provide results and output and the tool is just a way for you to get that output. Number six is step up when needed. Become a leader, become a manager. These things you'll have to learn them over time. I'm in this journey right now. I'm same as you, I'm a new data scientist, or if you're just starting out, I'm just a little bit ahead of you, of yourself, but I am planning to become that manager. I want to become that leader and I act upon these words. So I try to open up, I try to share my thoughts, I try to bring solutions into the table, I try to be vocal, I try to be there. I'm not just vocal for the sake of speaking, but whenever I have an idea, whenever I have something to share, and I take on things that are even bigger than what I know right now. I'm not afraid of taking something that I don't understand yet. Because I know a tool is something that I can learn within hours, days, weeks. So that's not a problem for me. So I take on something that is challenging for myself. Something that will push me to grow. Something that will push me to improve. But I also make sure that people know the value that I bring because I speak about it. I'm there, I'm trying to give solutions, I'm trying to improve the business. A data scientist is not just someone hidden that just writes code and is always just in a room and doesn't do anything and doesn't provide any business value. That's not true. The more value you provide for the business and the more important you become in that structure, the more salary you get, the more opportunities you get, and so on. So what is your number one advice that you would share with any data scientist out there? I'm sure you have something that anyone could benefit from, and I would love to hear it in the comment section. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please, if you liked it, give it a like and subscribe. It really helps the channel grow. There is more than 80% of people who watch these videos that are not subscribed, so you will be a massive help for you if you do so. Thank you for watching and I see you in the next one.